Hello and welcome to the Pirate King Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3! Where last we left our heroes, we finished up all the side quests we could and made our way into the city within the sword. Currently have Vandom's daughter here. Uh, tagging along with us as we are taken to, I'm assuming, the command room. But we've kind of just been following them. I'm sure we'll get to explore more later is probably a better idea than doing so now. Though we certainly could. Oh, yeah. oh you were going this way. Somehow you got pulled back. But yeah, we found a canteen, so we stopped there now. Oh, right down here. Hola, ninja. You, um, you said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why, why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I've been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Uh, I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raven lunatics. They kind of looked that way. That's a little too harsh. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. It is better, though. <laughs> it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's how we were born. Okay, so she ended off there. Just a quick look here. Container nearby. Uh, maybe I should be looking around. Since we just have to follow her. And she stops when we're not there. No, I... I feel like it'll be more useful to explore after this because there'll probably be people to talk to along no, no, the way. No, you guys spelt in Colony 4. Right? At least they warmed up to us eventually. Maybe it'll be the same here. I hope so. And I expect so. What's that? A ladder? Oh, looks like we can go on from here. A very tall ladder. It's on top of the buildings that uh, would lead all the way over there. Interesting. But yeah, not now. Another elevator, but we're going to Praetorian Hill. We're now more or less above the sword's hilt guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? Oh. There's even more. More husks underneath. <sighs> mm. This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? Hmm? Are the echoed voice in the game? Echoes? You're getting echoes? Uh... Hmm. It doesn't look like my mic is too sensitive at the moment. Hey Noah, you know that pile of husks earlier? You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? Maybe. We didn't get to finish that. Hmm. Let's see if just turning this helps. On those. Cradles. 
Your so-called cradles are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth, trained to kill one another ruthlessly and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. In order for Mobius to exist, they must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Ethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius' shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle, a blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Wait, then that husk I saw... Yep, actually was you! But if in we a past keep life. lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Mm. Uh, right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. Wait, I'm not gonna, like, go and see an actual birth, are we? <laughs> Come, we'll show you. What are you gonna show me? Uh... Right. So we're born to fight, and then we die, over and over and over. I can hardly believe it, but it was Ethel, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Were you still getting any echoes during that cutscene? Just want to make sure. Got a park in here, that's nice. Medical facility. Wait, we're not actually going to see a birth, are we? Oh. <sighs> yup! This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? Hold a moment. Some words echo, others don't. Interesting. Yeah. Found once in a while some echoes turn up. I usually think it's something odd going on with the TV speakers going through my mic. But it doesn't happen all the time, and whenever I adjust, either nothing happens or uh, the fix doesn't last. <laughs> Baby! First time any of them have seen an infant. I'm, I'm sorry to intrude on your newborn, but nobody here has ever 
seen one before. Can we let them see? <laughs> I don't think we'll explain the process it's to them so quite yet. Small. It's a little person. It's so teensy tiny, but it moves. Much rejoicing! Uh, it's okay to touch her. Is it though? Gently now. Oh, she actually found it. Place one finger in her palm. <gasps> hey, Santa, look at this. You need to try it too. <laughs> <laughs> Tyon's getting into it. Whoa, you're right. Mimi, it's incredible. Is it though? L let me have a time. <laughs> I haven't seen this attitude from Tyon before. <laughs> Lord, has he even laughed before now? It's the first time we heard him laugh like that? Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. <laughs> I'll be glad to explain. Oh, lads and lasses, who oh. wants to know how babies are made? <laughs> Amazing. Hmm. Well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up. And we skip ahead to the end of the the. the uh, explanation, I'm sure. Oh, they were all... I didn't even notice they were all put in their uh, standard outfits for this. Be a very important cutscene. Ooh. Someone getting some ideas? <laughs> exactly the way I expected it to be. This is human nature. We are born defenseless. Grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together, age, then return to the earth. Thank you. I mean it. Phantom's eye patch. Or Guernica's eye patch. Phantom is the last name, apparently. Monica, what was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Whoa. And we also don't know that word. The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. Wow. 
lost that kid's father. You'll understand too someday. Hmm. Or maybe you already do, in a way. <laughs> or it might be that you already do. Remembrance Stones. Hmm. Okay. Big city. Can't wait to explore on my own. Virid Park. It's a good one. I'll give you that. Look. Mm. It looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others. I don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. <clears throat> it was the Queens, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. Oh. By activating the stone <coughs> page here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving, it took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the Queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real Queens. Yes, real Queens! I knew that Answers. piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are they humans who can even live that long? Now that I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old, they're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us, too. Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Mm. Don't give up.
Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. Hmm. Well, he chose but us for a lot of reasons. Founders, it lives on in us warriors. One of Mobius which being... Reign forever. Don't let Mobius if get the stone. you freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you. After what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth. Part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so... precious. You gonna smile or what? <laughs> you still don't like that we're here? You, you don't seem to. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. God damn it! <clears> hmm. <throat> Shania. Uh, Shania. More walking to do? This is the last stretch. Let's get you to the dorms. Well, there's a word we know. Mobius warning level? Kevin and Agnes warning levels have combined to form a single Mobius warning level. Looks like colony relations have changed. That's great. Uh how is it? Nope. That I want. Where are you? Where's the button? Why? Openly threatening city. Yeah. Duh. Um right. And yep, it's at level 3, almost at level 4! I really don't know what else will uh, will show that. Man, will will affect that, I mean. Alright, it was just the one. There we go. Yep, that looks like an important building. Looks more like a hotel than dorms. This is a dorm for young lost number soldiers. You can sleep here while you're in the city. You can ask that guy about your rooms. Sup? <laughs> oh, and sadly there's no kitchen in the building. A lot of the single soldiers eat in the midst of a canteen. But if you want to do your own cooking, feel free to use that empty pool of land over there. Got it. Thank you, Monica. Tomorrow we have a lot to discuss. Agreed. How should we arrange that? Meet me in the Lost Numbers War Room. It's a place down the lift near the Praetorian Hill we passed on the way here. I'll let you know, cl know closer to the time. Oh, uh, before I forget, you're free to explore the city as you will. Is that really okay? I said we weren't hostile, right? I thought you'd be pleased not to have me breathing down your necks. No, we're grateful. Thanks for everything. Alright, now we get to freely explore. And I'm assuming this part is, uh. Oh, Lost Numbers Dormitory. Like, do we explore now or do we talk to him first? I don't want to, like, 
cut anything off time wise. Also, I have. Alright. Uh. I mean, Tyon is rank 8 at the moment. What else would he be going to? Because he's filling a healer slot at the moment. And someone else. He, yeah, he's. This is the last healer slot at the moment. I mean, oh, that's definitely Monica. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, doing that. He would definitely be going to Incursor next, I think. But we need to switch out an attacker. Which may very well be Noah. So I could just use a bunch of my silver coins for this purpose. Being that I'm sure we're going to find a lot more in the containers around the city. Might as well not just sell them. All right. Eight and seven, so we what? Yeah. Yeah. Three for each level, pretty much. That'll get us a good chunk that we don't have to auto sell anymore. Switch to cursor, and you're also sticking with this outfit. That doesn't look bad on you. Even though it is not meant for someone who looks like you, it does kind of work. <clears throat> okay, what do we got? Um, critical rate against enemies performing arts. Hmm. Break. Absolutely keeping that. Though I guess better streams. Oh, that's what that is. Uh, I'm attacking from the back. I crit, which also evades enemy attacks of ours. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Right. So. Oh, it's already on Hidden Thorn. We might leave that. We're good together. This. I think we're good. What was the one you had on? It was critical hit damage bonus? Uh. Nah, I'll leave it on double strike. Apparently this is a crit focus class by how they how they built it. Um about to switch it off of him anyway. I mean it's better than critical rate by 32%. 17 percentage points is better. Sure. Damage dealt from behind. Yeah, sure, why not? I feel like the, the corseted part doesn't quite work with him, but the rest of it does. So we'll leave it. Oh, though, I guess if we switch him off of this now, other people won't be getting Yumsmith anymore. And I need someone else to have it before... Ah, uh, fuck, I hadn't considered that. 
All right, we can deal with one healer for now. Oh, but I moved the thing off. Fuck. This is stupid. Why did I do that? Ah, I'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We can do this. Because if I do this, then... Um... There's a, a chance that I'll just get class inheritance points from the amiibos. What did that get me? Flashback. I can take care of support. Oh wait, uh, were you going here or? Yeah, because you're on Thaumaturge right now. So it's got to be War Medic. Heal bullet, multi blast, and it cure bullet, I believe. Cure bullet. We'll forge our own way. All right. Got our own break down here with that. Yeah, I don't have any of the others, huh? Um, means I might want to put it on multi blast. Your bullet is AoE around user. Maximum voltage. If there's any physical arts in this one. Um, hmm. Good, good, and is here. Good. Um, good. And good, I think. We got Yumsmith. Which, the vest looks good, the hat looks bad. Actually, wait, what do we... Yeah, this this outfit does look good on most of us. But I don't think I want it on Noah. You might have something. I never got this, huh? 150. 90. 90 and 70. A new power, eh? Mm. Oh, what I also meant to do was a quick save. It's good to keep a record. Rooms are ready for you now. I'll be getting some rest. Uh, okay, so no, that'll probably lead to another cutscene. And grab some give me a shot, okay? Alright. So now we will explore actually starting with this. Ah. Wonder what's inside. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Ultra pure gemstones. Okay. Me. A lot of people here. Right. What have we got around here?
Wait, can I not actually? Oh, we're there. Okay. Yeah, it's not the right section. All right, time to actually explore the city. Oh, a lot of stuff in that direction. City camp. That's good. We have a lot of people to talk to, but I want to get that at least for fast traveling. Ooh, I'm kind of getting near Automata vibes. Drum drum. The friends know, name of lost numbers number one Levinus is Mercenary. Also, the container slotted into often uses trampoline craft or armory. Those would be Levinus's we saw around the castle. Also, we have little other Levs, but the size of one biggie bun called Sentry. He's a special creation of Master Pond. The ones we fought in our Feta Valley, maybe. Good to add more names. Yeah, this is all gonna give us uh, affinity. Grand I, can, grand, I can carry a great tune. I feel so cheery and breezy when I hear it, like I can get through anything. Some people don't like it, though. You can't defeat Mobius with music, they say, but I think the world of Granddad. I want to help people who encourage others, not fight or hurt them. Good to add more names. Yelner might be welcoming, welcoming you or Boris with open arms, but I doubt everyone will feel the same. Please don't disturb the peace we have in the city. Yeah, yeah. Where is the Ooh, person Could first. You more names? Did you really call, come all the way from the Asia region? Yes, that's right. Did you happen to bump into my husband? Said he was heading off to Millic Meadows. Hmm, did we? Did we? Also, while we are Good to add more names. back in the canteen, I might as well get their food so we can add it to our list. We could do with some food. Yeah. Mm, Aqua delicious. pizza in the city. What was that? There you go. Uh, yeah. Aqua Paza la city. And. Ceris Caprice Aqua Paza. So that's a new recipe then. Yep. Let's move out. Okay. Oh, Michiba. It's his canteen. The city isn't without its own internal squabbles, but at Michiba Canteen, everyone is a valued customer. No matter your view viewpoints or beliefs, all I want is for you to enjoy some delicious food. Speaking of, I'd recommend the Aqua Pazala City. It's classic city cuisine. Good to add more names. And I dare say there's quite a few questions you'd like to put to me right now. But if you aren't sick or wounded, please stay out of the medical facility, if you don't mind. Your presence is bound to cause fuss, you see. Please bear with me for the sake of the people who need their rest. Oh, like those little baby people? That's right. We have some gravely ill old folk being cared for, too. People who are sadly coming to the end of their lives. Which, uh, is not ten years, by the way. It's like a hundred. Good to add more names. Have you look at it? Gornick was a great man and a heroic fighter. He ceded his position as elder to Monica so he could carry on fighting on the front lines. Each time he rode back into the city on his levness, he brought back a brand new tale of valor and daring do. Yes, and I certainly wasn't the only one who was eager to hear them either. He inspired courage in all of us, not just the lost numbers. He was a great example right up to his final moments. Hell yeah. Good to add more names. The elder is a lady I admire, never a stronger woman I have seen. Her father and her spouse together lost, yet still she soldiers on in stern command. As daughter of the noble house of Doyle, I hope that I too climbs to such a height. I don't know. Julieta spelt like that made me think accent. Oh. Yep, those are the sentries. See a ladder there, but I guess I don't get up there from here. Um. Really? 
<laughs> okay. This is a no pawn house. This is absolutely a no pawn house. We saw a lot of them in two that look just like this. Oh man. All right. That's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna try not to jump over things too much in case I fall, cause it can go for a ways. You guys fight with a whole bunch of different weapons, right? How'd you find out which one suited you best? Huh? I guess we just picked out the ones we found easiest to use. Oh, motherfucker. So why were you asking about us then, China? How do we know his name? I don't know. I just want to pick your brains. I can pretty much, uh, I can call pretty much any blade now. But you can't win being so flaky, right? I want to settle on a weapon and get good at it. And maybe someday I'll be an Ouroboros candidate like my dad. Oh. All right, give me a moment here. Actions. Report. Go, bot handled. Uh, I'll keep going this way, I think. Stell Harbor. I guess. Still counts as a harbor, even with airships? Himna. All the city's residents are descended from the six houses. I can trace my roots back to House Ortiz, Monica's, the House Vandom, and so on and so forth. And in remembrance of our ancestors' endeavors, our eye patches are each adorned with a pattern of a respective house. Guess, like you, have to make do with just a plain, boring old version, I'm afraid. Good to add more names. Oh. Hey, Dave, can we get this book? Sure thing, champ. What a good choice. I'll probably help with your studies. Reading. Shop of Well Well's general store passed down through many generations of traders. Ancestors of Well Well travel whole of world in caravan, but one day decide to stop caravan and settle here. After that, shop dealing many, many goods, artistic things, no pawn craft, fun printing matters, important service to city friends. Good to add more names. Yep, here's our city trader pawn. Watch hello. Well, first to sell. Probably. Hmm. So want some new clothes. You might have to be a bit patient. City clothing. Also a different shopkeep. What to buy? Yeah, you sell all this stuff. There's all stuff we already have that we have better. But unlike the Nopon, you don't mind if I don't get anything. Very much appreciate the scavenger force retrieving those supplies. Sure ain't an easy job. 
Go to Gnome Wetlands next. The fight never stops for them. Have a lot to talk about when we tuck in for the night. Oh? What's this? Sheet music? Someone's sheet music? Got some useful intel out of that. Alright. Ladder? A ladder here? Not here. Must be up above. Oh, this one open. Module re warehouse. Oh, because we walked in here before. I see. But it's also not where that is. Okay. Container is up above, so we got to get up above. Likely. Oh. Monica's little crew running dogs, huh? Well, you can leave me right out of it, whatever it is. That's no, not us. Why, you ain't lost numbers? Oh, that's alright then. Not everyone in the city supports the Lost Numbers crew, you know. Some of us want nothing more than a quiet, peaceful life. But I want anyway. We left in peace. Good to add more names. Fuck you too. I think Lost Numbers are wrong to carry on stealing cradles at the risk of exposing themselves. All they're doing is giving the enemy more hostages, and yet, th and yet they still carry on. We all know what kind of atrocities are going on at the castle. Right. You add more names? Wait, can we actually go down there? Is that what this elevator is? It should be operable now. Nope, there was a guy on there. <laughs> Night has fallen. Now, we wait. The war room. Oh. Wait, is that all that's here? Okay, that door probably opens later then. But hey, at least we got the skip travel point. You can come here quickly if need be. There's a ladder. One we saw before. What is that? Yep, something we talked about already. Okay, that's another one that goes up. Does this go over this way? Yes, it does. Okay. Wanna go this way first? Sure. We're gonna go in every which way anyway, so I might as well check things out before I climb. Let's use this. He says already on it. Good job, Lens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was right. Supply stockpile. Wonder what's inside. Say, isn't this valuable? We should take good care of that. Like I said, we'd be getting a bunch more silver coins. Well, this continues. Okay. Secret pathway. Yeah, we're behind the uh, the dorms. Oh, shit! Rivelli Plaza. Didn't actually... Oh, it's easy to go back up if I need to. 
good. However, door. It's locked. And I can't get over there to convert to over here yet. Oh, yes, I can. If I go this way, I can't come back this way. It's okay. We're going to be doing a lot of running around anyway. Training ground. Lost numbers are short on snipers, right? It's just that I've been considering changing my role is all. You're changing your blade again? Are you really sure you found the right role this time? Blades. I have so much to talk about. Uh, all right. Down there. And over there is that stuff, which I do want to go and check out, but I also want to check out the other direction from that climb. All right, we'll go this way first. Because we'll eventually make it back around. Well traveled by now, huh? Oh, it doesn't show me the ladder on here, but I think it was over here, actually. Mm, yeah, we can do that whenever. Kalem Residential Quarter. Or Kylum, probably. Oh, those are not on this level. But this door is. Yeah. If we can interact with it at all, it's just locked for the current time and will unlock later. Ah, this doesn't go far at all. This house looks important. Wait. Oh, it's just this, okay. Ah, the park that we saw before. Ah, right. This is where we started. Hold up. Nope, doesn't lead anywhere. <laughs> Hello, Yamil. So you smashed up the castle's annihilator, huh? We used the chaos you kindly created to get Kevis in the prover proverbial by raiding the pods. You are a boss, like a star hope rising above this city. You set an awfully high standard for yourselves. Good to add more names. And we appreciate the compliment. Yeah. We are very high up in the sword, so of course this place is just to jump to our death. Pretty much anywhere. Go figure. It says there's a ladder here. Is it in here? No. Hold on, can I? Ah. Climb this, and there's our ladder. I could have just walked around. There Let's we go. Use this. Let's see where this brings us. Like a helipad on top of the canteen. Which, why this would be here, I'm not entirely sure. Skybridge. Oh, one way. Into the building across from the canteen. Okay. <laughs> sure, that was useless. Cool little detail, but useless. Now we get back over here and we go east instead of south. Can 
We do have the whole map on the map, I think, but there's still at least one or two containers that I've seen that we haven't been able to get to yet. Let's use this. Oh, and there is a bit up north there. Oh my. <laughs> Keeps going now, doesn't it? Ooh, those big guys. I do want to go out that way, but... Over here first. Oh wait, it's not on this level either? Hmm. Alright, let's explore this way then. I see the sky! Media Lookout. They'll probably bring us up here for a cutscene too. Snowy. I hope we can make use of this. This has got to be worth a bunch. We should take good care of that. Probably a bad idea. Everyone. Yep, I died. I'm but sorry. there's our container. Oh, that put us up here. Probably no easier place for us to jump to. I could check again. Just a wee bit too far, but if we land on this thing, maybe? <gasps> Aha! Just enough! Thoughts. And now from here, we'll be able to see how we were actually supposed to get here. Oh, is this back the way we came? Yeah, alright, so that's how we got here. And we went down this way. I see. Right, went down there and found one too. Okay. I believe that's all the containers we saw and were able to get to, plus all the people we could talk to. Never mind, there's one. Chino. The Lost Numbers gear mostly consists of redux versions of stuff that we salvage from battlefields. After so many years of tinkering about with this stuff, we got the process down to a fine art. All these are pretty good, no? Yeah, totally! You never knew this stuff was salvaged from battle wreckage. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, I help them out with it, with it from time to time as well. You add more names? Okay. I think that's everyone. Everything. We head back to camp before we go to the dorms. City camp. Better make we have sure a we lot to discuss and some other things to do.
Ooh, two of them get us quests too. Let's do the ones that aren't quest givers first. See, the way the order in which we got them was actually starting over here. Could you all come around for a second? Do you notice how this in the city, people called adults like Monica teach those smaller folks things? Not smaller folks, Uni. The world's the words children. I saw adults reading books to children. It was really peace a really peaceful scene somehow. Yeah. I remember in old training and lectures, they basically beat stuff into us. Nothing so relaxed as this. I imagine Monica would say this is how things are meant to be. She'd have a point. I can't really imagine those children holding weapons, fighting for their lives. Before Monica became an adult, do you think Garnica read to her like that too? I guess he might have. Strange, isn't it? Can't picture it at all. Yeah, bit outlandish, isn't it? Realize something looking at the scene there. Personal Let's do this first. Is every soldier's duty. Where should I start? So these those clothes we'd uh, borrowed all all that time ago. I guess they were city made in the first place. Huh, thinking about it, does that mean we might see people with the same outfits walking around? Wait, do you think... My style, it's not weird or anything, right? Hmm, I wonder. Did we get dressed in a hurry, then? It wasn't time to think about the style too carefully. Judging from the city people's perspective, it's not impossible that something about the ensemble might appear extremely offensive. Oh no, it's what I was afraid of! You look fine, Noah! Don't let Tyon's mutterings get you down. See, what about Tyon's clothes then? I need my attire to be functional, that's it. It's entirely pointless to worry solely about its appearance. Oh, that's pretty sensible actually. Very Tyon approach. Oh, well, we're on the subject, Tyon. Something I always wanted to say for a while now. What is it? Your scarf is deeply uncool. What did you just say? Repeat yourself, I dare you. Aha! I knew it! You're as vain as the rest of us, you poser! <laughs> um, I do kind of agree, though. The orange is a bit garish. However, Noah's style is on point. As I've said before, that jacket kicks ass. Could you all come around for a second? Apparently, the lost numbers can use all different kinds of blades, just like us. Monica did say the city's people were originally of one kind with the Orc Boros. So you'd say that explains the similarly You say that explains the similarity with us? Yeah, okay, I can see that. Even so, it's not many people who can master fighting with multiple blade forms, it seems. If you don't commit, your form's gonna be sloppy and you'll get bad habits. I think I'll always prefer to using what I'm good at. I'd like to think at least a basic understanding of all of them. Nothing beats flexibility on the battlefield. Me, I'm a power girl through and through. What the spark's a power girl? Ah, eh, never mind, I catch a drift. It's important we remember, though, even though we have Ouroboros powers, it's still a matter of effort to achieve proficiency. Alright. Found this one first. I think we need to discuss this. The city's full of things I've never even heard of, and all this amazing tech and stuff. But they seem to have to scavenge things like Levinus parts like we do. Be a sight harder than just normal scavenging, too. Outwitting both Agnes and Kevis to get the stuff they need? Not my idea, fun. And they can't leave any trace behind, either. That's why they have a specialized scavenging force. They're elite, but in a different way to Monica's core, which fight on the front line. I assume there can't be many of them, so the force can stay flexible and mobile. Well, like a secret little secret platoon. Hey, can we pay a visit to Gnome Wetlands ourselves? I'd like to see more about these lost numbers. I'd like to know more. You're curious about the scavengers? A little. It seems like a lot of hard work. You can lend them a hand. They're probably pretty short-handed over there. At least, Uni made it sound like they're a tidgy little unit. Yeah, so it's my fault, is it? Oh, well, regardless, it'd be a good opportunity to get to know them better. To Gnome Wetlands it is.
Is that just what was down below, I think? Hmm. Let's lay out the facts. So about this sheet music we found in the city, I gave it a play and the melody made me really happy for some reason. It's so strange. It's completely different from Officer Melodies. It looks like only half the music is in here though. I really like to know the rest. Someone in the city will have dropped it. Should we see if we can find who it belongs to? Yes, please. Okay, let's find someone with plenty of people. Try asking around. Alright, this one will be in the city. Counterpoint. Not gonna check the levels. Oh, right! As I said, we got ion boosters. Uh, I wanna see what else needed it. It's an Avis sphere. Thing we can do. Let's we can do it. Come on, I want to use it quick. N no, I I don't know if you do. You're a healer at the moment. Anything? Our current meal is giving us uh, experience. Now the new one is experience and enemy drop boost. Not quite as good. Um, I might leave our meal for now. You know, leave our meal for now, because it's got 18 minutes left. And it's giving us an experience boost, so that's something. Even if CP is the boost I want. It's good to keep a record. I'm all refreshed and ready to take on the world. Whoa! Okay. Lots of people. Oh, even one right next to us, technically? Oh, just down below. I'd rather not jump. We're looking for the person who dropped the sheet music. Hmm? Sorry, I never seen it in my life. Oh, well, thanks anyway. Good to add more names. This will also get us more people to talk to, apparently. Miori. Do you know who might have dropped the sheet music? Nope. Oh, thanks anyway. Good to add more names. Did I go down here before? Oh yeah, this is Oh, okay. Memorial Hall. Monument to Founder and the Central Plinth. Check the center first. Ouroboros Stone's Cage. The object on display upon this plinth is the very first original Ouroboros Stone's Cage. It is important to note that initial designs for the monument are said to have included a statue of a seventh founder in its place. Next to no information remains about the seventh founder's identity, and it's possible that this is not due to a simple loss of records. Rather, historians speculate this is the result of a conscious decision by the seventh founder. Maybe I should have done that last. I should write this all down. House Rhodes. A soldier of Agnes, this founder's fight to the death against the founder of Ortiz, a soldier of Keves, was interrupted by a chance meeting with other founders. Freed from the bondage of her flame clock, she joined the fight against Mobius. Although a soldier, the founder is reported to have been exceedingly gentle and kind at heart. Additionally, her skill in the healing arts greatly contributed to the development of medical science in the city in later ages. And irrespective of starting life as an Agnian soldier, she is said to have surpassed 80 years of age, though the way she achieved that remained shrouded in a mystery. House Cassini In memory of the founder of House Cassini in the city's Liberatrix. Much like with the founding of Reed, this statue too depicts the founder's respected mentor rather than the founder herself. The mentor boosted a robust physique, wielding two great swords at once without most ease, and facing down Mobius despite the loss of one eye. 
He lived his life an unsophisticated sort, broad-minded but impassioned, and is said to have aided the founders in the fight against Mobius, physically and spiritually. He was further reported to have been a free spirit, whose qualities influenced the other founders, still young and impressible when the city was restored. Indelible proof of this rebellious spirit can be seen time and again in the ethos of the house in generations to come. These are all a lot longer than I was expecting. House Vandom. Wait, is this the one that they said looked a bit like Noah? Huh. In memory of the founder of House Vandom, the city's restorer and liberator. The original incarnation of the city was once laid to ruin by Mobius N's hand. The founder realized fully the power of Ouroboros, heretofore limited, and fought against N ousting. Once victorious, he gathered the old city's people, scattered to the winds, and re-established the city. When the, with the city restored, he left its government in the hands of the founder of Doyle, and departed on a lonely expedition. No records exist of his fate thereafter. Heirs of Vandom's lineage only returned to the new city several centuries later. Oral tradition has it that the founder was a master of the classical art of fist fighting, and the scions of House Vandom carry on the custom to this day. Alright. House Doyle! Give me a moment. Ah! In memory of the founder of House Doyle and the city's liberatrix, directly descended from those who established the first original city. Her whereabouts were lost after End's ravaging of the city of old, but upon encountering the other founders, she committed herself fully to the fight. The founder is said to have a familiar relation to the founder of Vandom, with scant extant records suggesting they were likely brother and sister. She fought alongside the founder of Vandom, then who was the elder of the two, and brought the power of Ouroboros to completion. Said to have been bright and wise, this founder laid the cornerstones for much of the city's governance and legal system. House Reed, only one more after this. In memory of the founder of House Reed and the city, city's liberatrix, rather than the founder herself, this statue depicts the founder's mentor figure, standing as a sign of the deep reverence and devotion she felt for her teacher. The founder's master was unconnected to her by bonds of blood, yet he raised her as, he, as, as would befit a child of one's own, it is said. Though, though of a calm and constant disposition, the sight of him on the battlefield, great red sword in hand, struck fear into many a Mobius. And though the vicious struggle against Mobius caused this ferocious warrior his right arm, the loss did nothing to diminish his desire to hone his martial skills each day, standing as vivid testament to his indomitable will. Red sword, huh? House Ortiz in memory of the founder of House Ortiz and the city's liberator. A Cavesi soldier, this founder was released from the flame clock system by the other founders, and henceforth spent every last ounce of his energy for the cause, to liberate the city and as one of the first Ouroboros. With surpassing skill in mechanical engineering, the founder fought not with a blade, but with a weapon of his own fabrication. He was also responsible for laying the foundations of all the mechanical systems su supporting the city to this day. Following the fight against Mobius, he poured the remainder of his days into rebuilding the city before finally perishing at the age of 80 years. Though how he attained that feat despite his origins as a Kvesi soldier remain unexplained. Well, we might find something. So my mom got remarried, and now it sounds like a new partner will be moving in with us soon. How would you guys feel if you were in my shoes? Um, great I guess? What's remarried? So mums and dads, they get married, and my mum went and died, and uh, my dad went and died, and my mum got married again. That sounds way complicated. Uh, so, uh, so complicated, I don't even know how to respond. To add more names. Leanna. Leanna. This expanse here was once the battleground of Kevis and Agnes, and, and, and an especially violent one at that. The battle with the sw was a swamp for both sides. All that remained was a wasteland mounted high was husk with husks. This was the place our ancestors made home. It's a strange and haunted site, but it keeps us safe and hidden. 
Nothing has really changed since then. We still live here, leading our boxed-in lives, counting out our sagging little days. Good to add more names. All right, we finally found what those things were. More people to talk to. Oh, Hollis. Do you know who might have dropped the sheet music? Sheet music? Not a clue, sorry. No worries, thanks anyway. Gotta keep nice and limber. Oh, Jagger. Mick? Hmm. What's that? My rare side to you? The city's got three types of folk. Promising youngsters, hard-working adults, and old folks of time. Wait, is that? No, he's just, just a guy. Oh, yeah. Time on your hands. Like you don't have anything you need to do. The paint, write poetry, play an instrument, or in my case, have a good old drink every day. Good to add more names. Plain. Is it difficult to become an Ouroboros candidate? Oh yeah, to qualify you have to pass the exam, and that's all just once every four years. Only ten can get in, four of which are reserves. There are a lot of applicants, but only the best make it. Hmm. Good to add more names. A lot of names, a lot of people. We're looking for some, for the person who's lost his sheet music. Do you have any idea who it might belong to? Well, well, a lot of idea. But can ask customers if they're missing it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Excuse me, we're trying to find the person who dropped the sheet music. Oh, that's Granddad's. Oh, right. This kid talked to us about his his Granddad playing music before. I can't believe he's been dropping things in the middle of the street again. He can't keep doing this. Would you mind introducing us to him? We'd actually quite like to meet him. Yeah, why not? Okay, you can help me find him. Knowing Granddad, he's probably standing on a bridge somewhere wearing himself sick. Thank you. He's really hard to talk to. Hmm? Oh no. Oh, well, we're in it. Right next to the right bridge. Boomer! Excuse me. There you are! Granddad, you dropped your sheet music again. You can't just say you can't write good music and throw everything away. Wait, you wrote this piece? We wanted to know how the rest of it went, so we came looking for you. It's such a lovely melody. I'd love to be able to play it all the way through. <laughs> he just walks away! Oh, he wants us to follow. Um, did he hear me? I think he wants you to go with him. Good to add more names. Oh, okay, we're actually following him. Okay, boom. Some relations have changed. No, no, I'm I'm trying to walk into the back of you so that you control the speed. That's not gonna last. I'm hearing some music over the background music. Bum, 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 bum.
just gonna let him go for a bit. See where he stops. Okay, stops there. Kind of hoping he'd go down the stairs here and I would just hop over. Really couldn't have made him go any faster, huh? Did he just do a fucking loop? Oh, here we go. Manana, dig it! Getting groovy! This is not groovy music, Manana. I think Granddad enjoyed himself. We had fun playing together, too. Pretty different from your off-scene tunes, innit? Feels a lot more jaunty. It's true. The simple act of listening makes you feel connected to everyone around you. How bizarre. Oh, Nana would like to listen again. I'd like to write something like that one day, too. You will. I'm sure of it. Was complete. Only took so long because we had to follow him. I see some relations have changed. And there's not even a bench here anymore. Oh, bench is over there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Well, they probably don't use Collectopedia cards up here, but they might just because it's a game mechanic. No, it was just that. Right, so this is where we went before, we ended up following them straight into the sword. There was an area over here that didn't look that big, but might actually be bigger. So yeah, we can go down and see about this first. Might explore out here a bit too. Oh, we don't have a hero assigned, do we? Because our guest hero got switched out. There she is. But yeah, we have gray, I believe. Bonk. You know? I'm gonna do this, but you're in our way. I'll resolve this as fast as possible. Thanks. 
Shit, they got interrupted. Oh, I got broken. Side. But friends of Monica, we thought you might be able to use a hand. Uni, what are you doing? Monica, you must be our Boris. Fantastic! We're fine here, but the captain up ahead could use it help. Seems like monsters are really slowing down about slowing down the retrieval. Understood, we'll do what we can. Are you all fine then? Yeah, not to worry, we're five by five. We'll uh, we'll be taking every last bit of plunder back to the city. This wreckage? It's like a treasure trove for us. Can't be wasting a single bit. Are you okay? Something wrong? A friend of mine died recently. His name was you. I see that wreckage and I just can't help but think of the folks who died here. We should be grateful for everything left there. That's a feeling I understand well. Good to add more names. Alright. Go find Kibata. There's also area off that direction to go and explore. This is a good start to it, maybe? No, this is still a part that we were walking through before. Quite a rare sight. Windows. Okay. Well, well, looky here, the Ouroboros themselves! Mizuki, tell me you were coming. <laughs> That's a voice and a half. Yeah! <laughs> How rude of me! Rest assured that we will leave no trace of our existence! Well, I'm glad you're so enthusiastic. It's taking you some time to retrieve everything I hear? Mm hmm? I had a bit of trouble with your office, you see. I don't know what's got them in such a tiz. They just won't seem to leave the, our salvage alone! Proving nigh impossible to get our hands on those loudness parts. I'd like to retrieve them undamaged if possible. So they just need us to bash up some groffers? Piece of cake. Recovery of resources is the goal! Engage with the enemy is secondary to that repeat! Eh, where'd that come from? That's the order of priority! Don't you forget it! I feel like doing Kabata's voice like this, I can't get Lanz's voice <laughs> directly from it. We, scav we support more lives with our scavenging than you know. Always keep that in mind, got that? Uh, yes, Mom. Good lad. Don't worry, it's part of a rookie's job to make mistakes, you know. Rookie? You're the new recruits, aren't you? Now, oh, come on, pick up the pace. Use your powers and whatnot to retrieve those parts. Thanks in advance! Good to add more names. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's quite rare. There's cross here. Huh. Ooh, big stronger alpha. And up here we have a battle to interfere in. We have room for these now. Oh, we're fighting with the Garafa. <laughs> Oops. Whoa! Okay. Stop that, please. Okay. Yep, conclusion. Nothing a bit of teamwork couldn't handle. Whatever happened to not being careless? We we'll just pick this up then. Leavenous drivetrain part. And return? Okay. But not yet. 
Oh. That one's a level above us. We'll not be fighting that. Let me check. It appears we can pass through here. Let me at least do this part. Good thing we found this. Is this? Nope. Can't get up this way. So. Now it's a little far out. Huh. Watch your footing, guys. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, it's not near the other thing. These guys won't aggro. I hope we can make use of this. Okay. Oh, we're maxed out on pure gemstones as well? Huh. Go figure. Wait, what? Oh! Big old field of husks. I better send them off. Oh yeah, we have our eye patches on. I wonder if we if I did this too soon. If this quest might have actually sent us in this direction. There's definitely a broken leaveness near here. See? Oh, that's 200 to something. Didn't actually see which one it was. Right, satisfied with that. done! And no significant damage to note! Nothing to sneeze at, eh? That's our old wars for you, I suppose! So we finally convinced her. This was a test from the get-go, wasn't it? I suppose you want to know if the power of the famous old boars would mesh with the Lost Numbers way of life. So you saw through us! You're smarter than I thought you'd be. It's good to know the sca how the scavenger troops feel about us, anyway. Thank you for telling us. I'm the one who should be thanking you! Thanks to you, got to keep my team safe! Mizuki's a newlywed, you know. I couldn't face May if anything happened to him. But I digress. Better get our troops home safely, eh? Thanks for your help! Pleasure working with you, Arboros! Complete. I see some relations have changed. Alright. Let's head back toward the sword, because I think there's still a bit on the map we're missing. Got that bit already. What I'm missing is probably just right by the wall and that's it. Yeah, just by the wall. Alright, nothing special. Like I thought, this didn't really go very far. But there is something over here that we can't get to yet. And along this route, there were no diversions, I think? There seemed to be over here, but... Elevator landing. I don't know if that's the top or the bottom of the elevator. It looks like there's something up that way. Uh... Right, there's our elevator. Oh. Just a door we couldn't get through? 
or right oh it's a dock really is there water big enough for that here or is it is that it but yeah looks like it's just a direction we can't go yet this is a door but it's not even letting us interact with it or with that person might as well go in this way now we wait <laughs> oh figured it would just put us in there yeah like that <laughs> going yeah oh right there was this whole outside portion first huh? we know I only us like the back of our hand now interesting line um, right I think that was it now it's time to continue yeah Looking dirty. That doesn't matter. Moisha! Grandpa and Grandma are always reading me books. It's super kind of them. Grandpa? Grandma? You mean those wrinkly dudes, right? That's right. That's your dad's dad or your dad's mum. Or your mum's dad or your mum's mum. I'm making my head spin. You're making my head spin here, bud. Good to add more names. <laughs> The concept of a grandfather. <laughs> Rest in the dormitory. Oh, except we're out here. N, you say? You know him. I know of him, definitely. He's been a real thorn in the city's side. Sounds rough. He slaughtered many of my people in cold blood. Huh. Why bring him up? Uh, well, no reason. Hmm? He just looks a lot like me, is all. And that guy. What's wrong? Is it something Monica said? Is there a problem? No. Don't worry about it. Huh. It's just a passing thought. Yeah? Put them back in oh, the standard outfits for this too. Earlier. We're not sleeping in tomorrow. Our briefing starts early. Get some rest while you can. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Good night. Yeah. Night. So soft beds are really comfy. Who knew? I'm fairly sure you've always slept well, even in sleeping bags. Same. Look at all, fuzzball. You are. Weren't you even a little nervous? Clearly, you were nervous enough for all of us, judging by those dark circles under your eyes. I couldn't just meekly go to sleep after getting here and processing all that information. That sounds more like excitement than nerves, if you ask me. Well, it looks like last night's jumble of information will be sorted out in the war room. Right.
Okay. We should probably start making a move over the war room then. Right, agreed. Monica said you take the lift down near the Praetorian Hill, right? That's the Swords Hill card. All the way there. Okay then. Yep. We've already been there. I might just fast travel. <laughs> But it isn't very far. Uh, maybe farther than I thought. Yeah, we did go literally everywhere. Oh. Mm, no, we may want to walk there. Or at least close to there. Down to the war room. Okay, the while since my last war council. Hope this isn't one of the boring ones. Now oh, I doubt this will be boring ones. Okay then. Good. Sneaking into Agnes Castle, huh? Oh. Seems we won't be catching a break anytime soon. So this person who knows where the true queens are. Uh, who was it again? You're looking for Gondor. Ah, oh, that's right. Gondor? So what? then, we've just got to find this Gondor, break him out of the prison camp, and get the spark out of there. Hmm. Luckily, they don't kill us immediately after we've been captured. We're held beneath the castle, in a detention facility. To perform forced labor? There's that as well. But mostly, it's to set an example. Example? On the day of an eclipse, once a year, they hold a mass execution of prisoners at Hope's Rest, a hill on the castle's south edge. The whole event gets projected high into the sky. Well, shit. Oh, no. So that's what you meant. It's to show us we're powerless. And the place they do this is Hope's Rest. What kind of sick joke is that? Poignant. The next eclipse falls about a month from now. So that's our deadline for what we've got to do. Contact the prisoner and get the intel on the Queens. A month. Mia. Well, no two ways about it. We better get started now. Yeah, and we better hurry. We can't waste a single day. Let's say we make it in without a hitch. Won't the you-know-what give us away? Uni, I don't think we do know. The red glowing Mobius Eye thing. Oh, bad. Those eye patches I gave you? There's a special alloy embedded in them. Long as you got that, you'll be near invisible. Slip clean under their noses. And after we've got the info, how do we get out? You've put the Cavesi Annihilator out of commission. I'm sure you'll think of something. Ha! <laughs> Even if we get out, what about your lot? You don't need to worry about them. They knew the risk. That doesn't make it okay. Yeah, well, that's how we do things. But still... I'll tell you to Be prepared to make sacrifices. All right. <sighs> However, only as our absolute last resort. Is that fair? That's awfully kind of you. 
A kind doesn't win wars. There's a nopon called Samon in engineering. He'll be able to find you a way into the castle. Get the details from him. Mr. Samon's engineering department. Go down the lift near Dolgan Cliff and you'll find it another time. It's, by the, it's a big lift you took to get up here. You know the one? Right. Yep, that's it. Ciao. Oh, that's the place I'm like, oh, hey, we can't go that way yet. <laughs> oh, what, you're not going to show us the way? There's a strategy meeting we need to be at. Discussing what to do after the infiltration. Oh, you're infiltrating the prison too? Well, it was originally our plan. I see. Looking forward to working with you then. Yeah, sorry, not gonna be all buddy buddy with you. Bye. Yeah, the ones who should have been Ouroboros, apparently. Oh, it crawled up his ass! Look at it from that perspective. We essentially took the Ouroboros powers that were originally intended for them. But. What's that have to do with any of this? Let's just play our part for now. We should head to engineering. Castle access. Oh, hello. Join the lost numbers and the hopes of becoming as fine a man as Guernica. The elves are becoming as strong and as kind as him, and yet even on this of this day it still remains an aspiration. Guernica Vanden. I should write this all down. Great, do I need a is everywhere? I need to continue exploring again. There are more things that have popped up apparently. Also some uh, question marks, and I think that one has to be up here. Let's use this. Whoever's all the way down below and never got on the ladder, they'll be here in a moment. I was wrong. It's not on this level. Great. Um, the other thing was all the way over here, which we actually need to be up here in order to get there because the door over there was locked last I saw. So we'll just turn around, I guess, and come back to this one after. All right, guys, back down! I, <laughs> I was expecting. Oh. Wait, did I actually hit the bottom? Fuck. Well, it's a good thing we just heal over time. Health depletion only matters in battle, or if you fall far enough. Let's use this. Like they should have come up with at least like I don't know three four other um lines for when you take fall damage as Noah or as each character probably Ooh, some kids back here yeah yeah asking big ask ya friends in of course shiner you in hi I guess. Maybe we could try asking someone? Can we help you? Oh, Ouroboros! What do you guys say to a treasure hunt? 
Because we're about to go on one. What now? Yeah, right now. Uh, but I warn you, it's pretty hard. We were just looking for more people to join in, too. But, but these special Dijon, only kids can play. Why does that matter? Who cares as long as we're all having fun? Oi, don't be such a stick in the mud. Anyway, you made it, and you're a grown-up, aren't you? So it's fine. Gigi's got to... Uh, Gigi's got to quick. Well, if you, need, if you need us that much, we'll help. I know. It's so embarrassing we can't solve the clues. And there are so many, please. Fine, you've twisted arms. We'll help a little bit, okay? Yay! Thank you. Very well. GG, explain rules. These clue lead to three boxes, which are all in the city. Each person follow one clue, bring box back here, okay? What exactly are these boxes? Appearance and form is different to each other. Everything else is trade secret. But they're all marked with an X. It's good you've marked them. Team of Ouroboros get this clue. Eight foot of 15 lights. What's that meant to be? The clue, duh. I don't get it at all, though. What a faff. Okay, what does foot mean? Isn't the box at the bottom... Is the box at the bottom or something? And then there's this 15 lights business. So what we're looking for is a lot of light sources, and theoretically, if we search at the bottom of it, we should find something. I wonder what it'll be. You'll save those brain for own clues. It takes some time, so get solving. Solving now. Okay, I'm definitely gonna find it. Yeah. I tried to make their voices different, but they ended up bleeding together. We better get such involved too, I guess. Yeah, let's try to find some lights that fit the bill. Okay. Unsolved riddle. We'll actually track that for now. Because it's here in the city. Now it opens. Also, oh, GG isn't there anymore. I see it's some relations have changed. Captain Kibata can be pretty pushy sometimes, right? She seems really scary at first. Now, once you get to know her, you'll get that she's always taking care of us. And she's a great ref for training newbies. Once she told me she was pouring all the energy from the kids that she didn't have into making us strong. Having kids is norm in the city, so people whisper about it, but she laughs it off. As you find your own so find your own way in life. I think she's so cool. I hope I can be like the captain and choose my own way to live. I see some relations have changed. Wait, light source. Hold on, we're checking. We're just looking for the box. What does this mean? Okay, so yeah. Just three. Fifteen is what we're looking for, yeah? Maybe I shouldn't have interacted. One. Oh, Monica. You're safe here in the city. Take your time. Might be the only genuine rest you get. Just don't forget about the operation. And we've got around a month to pinpoint the Queen's locations. Oh. Oh. A reason to go up above, you say? Just going to run with nothing out of the ordinary. She'll be safe to use. Yeah, we know. Gray. Every canteen is the same like that. Though, I should be getting new food soon, though we should go to the camp for that. Huh. Oh, that... It's gotta be it. Hey, you think this is the box? It has an X on it and everything. The foot of 15 lights. So at the bottom of where there are 15 lights. We solved it. 
Looks like it. Let's go back to Ribbly Plaza then. All right, we found it. Surprised we didn't open it right here. And this is actually a good place to travel to get there. Let's re-up our food. Better make sure we're well rested. I got one cured arm with sirloin from that hunt before. Oh, I needed that. Okay, good as new. It's good to keep a record. Ugh, let's be off. Is found. Everyone worked very hard. Well done. <laughs> we rock. I must have run around half the city. So what happens to the boxes now? Now he is. Open boxes and enjoy contents. Yay! Open the boxes. Open the boxes. Each box was opened. Hang on. There's notes in here. Let me see. Two eight seven five five six. Memory house capped. That's all of them. So then, this is another clue? This one's even harder to get than the last one. That's why we have to find all of them, innit? Put them together and they mean something? Look, join them up like this. Cap memory house? Like the snow cap? But what could this memory house be? That'd be the Memorial Hall. Uh, what's above there, a road? Wait, I know! It's the a, it's a Kylo Residential Quarter! Has to be! Now they have all spare places to stay up there. What? Sand, you're so clever. That must be it. Right, so what's this 28756 number then? Some kind of coordinates to this residential quarter or something. It could be the flat number. Nah, I don't think that there are that many flats. What if we move it around then? Move it around on the message. It's probably not that complicated. Probably. I thought you were the one who designed these clues. Eh. Uh, then who did? Did you not liberty to say? I got it. It's a key code. I bet the flat's got a door where you have to punch in a number to open it. it has to be it. Shiner, you're so amazing. <laughs> yeah, that was my guess too. Um, in that case, looks like we've somehow stumbled across our second answer. Gigi already said these very special clues! Gigi unable to solve myself. But Gigi know you're capable of solve! Of course we of course we can! Let's see if we were right! See the flats on top of the memorial hall! Shining away! Well, I've got no sparking idea to set this all up. Let's keep playing along for now. Gigi's, uh, Gigi's clearly at a loss without us. Oh, if we must. I'm not one to leave a mystery unresolved. Okay, there was definitely a door there that was locked before. Oh, jeez, they're all running about. Oh, it's, it's close by. Oh, uni fell. Our job isn't just scavenging, you know, we recover modules too! Both of those tasks go toward protecting our lives in here in the here and now. But it's the same for both Kevin and Agnes, right? We all raid each other to sustain ourselves, the pattern never changes. But sometimes I'm haunted by the feeling that we could all just find a way to live together somehow. Slowly building up. Yep, there we go. I don't have the second star yet. Would you look at that? It really worked! Well, there's nothing here! 
I don't think that's quite right. There's a note. Return to the founder, bringing tribute. Ma! It's the next clue! How many of these are there? Did you think this last one? How can you be sure? Because Gigi no answer of clue. I think I know it too. Founder must mean like the statues of the founders, right? That not correct. Founder mean person who start thing. So a person who make clues. You point to friend of Gigi. What about this tribute thing? How do you see? Fav uh, thing that is favorite of founder. And founder like torpedo wrap. Uh, it's just grocery shopping. It not at all. Real question behind this is diff difficult question that Gigi not able to answer. Gigi need help of everyone to solve last clue. We can do it. We're still gonna get the treasure. Yeah, we'll do it easy peasy. Oh, we ain't gonna leave you high and dry to come this far away. Gigi very grateful. First we need torpedo wrap from best torpedo wrap smith Gigi you know. I can't seem to lock down his voice either. Oh, wait, what? Oh yeah, literally just an empty closet. The head of one of the six houses lives here. Don't embarrass yourselves. I'm sorry, what, Gray? We're absolutely gonna see you again, but... Like, in a quest, but... Uh, it, that was information we didn't have before. I was at just your age when my grandchild joined the Lost Numbers. It was at just your age. But he went missing on a very, in his very first mission. We should never have let him go. I regret it to this day. But now I have the power to at least oppose what the Lost Numbers are doing. Good to add more names. I mean, if you, if you really want to, I guess. Oh. Outside thunder with noise of war, but inside of city happily safe. GG have eye patch, so GG never leave home without. What? I didn't think no upon any need of eye patches. Yeah, keep it. <coughs> yeah. Hold on. <coughs> God, keep voice stones down. Or GG have to admit it merely stylish affectation. Boomer! That's a different tune than the one that was on the sheet music. Did you make it up yourself? Sounds great. It's old dude, all the other says anything, huh? Torpedo Rapsmith. This is the place Gigi told us to go to. Get your freshly made torpedo wraps here! Sweet or salty, choose your topping. Bye. Torpedo wrap. Enjoy! It should be fine, right? Incorrect! One extra straight plumage honey torpedo wrap, please! There you go, thank you. Here you go, thank you. I see their face now. I didn't even know they did them like this. It's only available on specials menu. They're very sweet and tasty. But one you just bought also tasty. Gigi would like you to save her. You could have told us that earlier. To miss out on the toppings is a grievous, grievous blow indeed. And he's still on about the food. Now everything ready. So where's this founder person anyway? Near to here. On top of back of these steps. Alright. Oh. Back up where the first box was, pretty much. Hmm, that's there. Huh. 
Where's well, the tribute? Here, yeah, as desire extra sweet plumage honey torpedo wrap. Perfect. Oh, it's a kid. Yeah? Hi. Nice to meet you. Who are you people? Friends who help solve clues. GG, make introduction. This is creator of Treasure Hunt. Wait, please. GG, understand. Az uh, Azalea, always looking outside here. Azalea, go out at night time and play alone. What Azalea really want is not torpedo wrap. Your friend to play with. No, I don't need friends. Azalea! Something's eating you up, isn't it? Something sad. What was it that happened? What are you thinking? Will you tell me? I'm alone. I can't get any more lonely than this. Mom got ill and died. And Dad hasn't come home from battle yet. I hate being left behind. Oh, that's a sad goodbye to make. My mom passed away as well, so I know how you feel. Yours too? Well, this is different. I had so much fun today solving those clues, and everyone helped. Maybe one day we won't be together anymore, but that makes it even more important to be together now, right? Like, if we weren't together now, I'd just regret it later. What kind of games do you like to play, Azalea? I don't really know. Okay, our next game is finding something Azalea likes. I love solving tough problems. Which is why I had so much fun with your puzzles, Azalea. Well, I guess, but... Come on, give us another! Hit me! Uh, you want me to... Now? Glover solves it, wins the, wins the torpedo wrap. But there's only one. And you better play to win. Okay, who goes first? Me, I'll do it. H hey, how can I win if I don't even get the answer? <laughs> that all worked out rather nicely. You'd be very grateful. Thank you. The question of how to find Azalea friends to play with was hardest puzzle of all. Gigi, unable to solve this puzzle for the longest time. That's why Gigi get in everyone involved. I think it was a nice opportunity. Let's just watch them for a while. Ah, Unsolved riddle. Good to add more names. Lovely. Oh, there's 200. Nearly at the next star. Alright. some relations have changed. Right. The other thing was... Over here. I don't know if it was in the war room or not, but it's where we'll travel. Travis. Oh, hey, perfect timing. You lot have already smashed up a few flame clocks so far, right? Yeah, a few, I guess. Why? Well, the thing is, lost numbers were, are gonna start paying out a bounty for damage dealt to Mobius. Here you go. Gus bracelet. That's it. Good to add more names. Okay. Gondor is the only one who knows the whereabouts of the real queens. I really hope everything works out. You don't think we can handle it? No, no, it's got nothing to do with you guys or, or the plan. Sorry, just forget I said anything. Boss will have my guts regardless if I say something I'm not supposed to. Master Arts 100% charge starting battle. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not really that useful to me. Yeah, I don't think we got any more parts for them, really. Oh, well. Alright, see you, Ninja. Have a good night. I should probably be ending soon, too. Hmm. No, we still have this. I think... Yeah, nothing else here, really. 
Oh, but if we should be ending, we'll end at the camp. And then continue tomorrow. Because also at the camp, I know we didn't really get anything more for gems or whatnot. Sure well but we can do this. Yep, everyone's got some. 60! Oh shit! <laughs> okay! Yeah, I'll, I'll level up the rest of the heroes uh, off stream. But I was not expecting 60. That got us three levels! Alright. Oh, I meant to go one more, but that's fine too. It's good to keep a record. Let's go. Oh wait, no. We keep it here just for the sea. Sure All right. Okay, 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 okay. Oof. Let's see who's online. Hmm. Oh, man. Lots of good choices. Um... <laughs> no idea what she's playing, but I love rating into my friend Minty over here. Um, I may have mentioned she is an IRL friend. <laughs> Uh, and a very, very lovely person. So, we will be raiding in there. Playing Home Safety Hotline? I have no idea what that is. But we're raiding in anyway. Okay, well, until next time, this is the Pirate King signing off. Have a good night.